Hi, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, other chart placements. Thank you for joining this video. Thank you for clicking on it and checking it out. Welcome to Time of Today Reads. I'm Angel Yvette, and I'm so happy that you did click on because I just made a major boo-boo. <laughs> I've been reading all day, and it's been a confluy of energy. So I just shuffled your overall energy card back into the deck that I've been using for the sign grouping that you're in, which is that of the Cardinals. And so I'm going to have to pull a new card for you. And I'm going to do that with the power deck. And just go ahead and take that one that fell. Um, so for this, we got feminine. Uh, and we'll come back to this in a little bit. First of all, let me go ahead. Hi, I'm reading for the full moon in Taurus eclipse energy and everything surrounding it to help with navigating through this time for you, Cancer, for all the signs that I've read for. You're the second to last sign that I'm reading for today. And I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you for checking me out. Please like, fo follow, subscribe, do all that. Um, and share, please, uh, if this resonates with you. And if, well, I guess you won't know if it resonates with you yet because we're still a few days away from the full moon. Uh, eclipse, but you know, full moons have energy that expands a week before and a week after. And with this eclipse happening, it may go on even longer than that. Um, this is a, a one eclipse to kick off a number of eclipses that will be happening. So the full moon in Taurus uh, is happening November 19th, 2021. And this is what I'm reading for. As you know, full moons are the full the moon in its fullness. So um, it's definitely with tied to eclipses, it's a major time of purging. So I would say like purging anything that doesn't reflect your energies, anything that doesn't um, feel good, look good, anything that doesn't serve you, things like that. You may be finding some major revelations um, are presented to you. So that's going to come with major decisions, um, possibly. Releases, right? So for you, we got feminine to start with the power card. I'm reading with a, a total of four decks today, which is kind of three decks, and I'll talk about that a little more. But you got feminine, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is just read uh, this card on the back. I'm gonna read what sticks out for you, for me, for me, for you, Cancer. And I invite you to take a screenshot of this photo to really explore it, see what sticks out for you, see what speaks to you, and what emotions or memories or fondness it conjures, you know, and, and really look into that. Okay, so what sticks out for me is Mother Earth has been misunderstood, but she is the universal link. Okay, she is the womb for all that lives. And that is number 13, feminine. Number 13, this card in the tarot deck is death. So it's also rebirth. Death, I see it as rebirth. I see it as an opportunity to be born again um, and a new idea and a new ideology and a new belief and a new method of just going forth in life. And this is what the full moon is, particularly the eclipse sort of highlights. With this deck that I'm shuffling now, this is the Illuminated Tarot. It's going to be the message for you, Cancer specifically and I'm just going to let the cards do their thing November 19th 
I'm just going to take all of these then. All right, so. Wow, Cancer, okay. Yes, Cancer, you better show yourself, Cancer. All right, sorry, I just got so excited because of the cards that came out and how they came out and hello, feminine, right? So the cards that came out from the Illuminated Tarot are the eight, the number eight, the eight of hearts, specifically hearts is akin to cups in this deck. And that is also tied to the moon. Then after that, we have the nine of diamonds, which is the nine of swords or no, the nine of pinnacles. And then um, following that, two more cards came out, the 10 of clubs with number zero, which is the fool. So you got two major arcana here, two major arcana ties here rather, and you almost have every single suit uh, that is featured. So yeah, there is a steady progression into a new beginning, which is lovely. It goes eight, eight, nine, ten, zero, right? So. This is about uh, seeing things through so that you can be taken to the next phase, the next process of beginning, the next process of enlightenment. These are the Tantra Toolbox Terra cards, and I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna let these cards, I'm gonna see what they have to say on this. This is a lot of good energy, a lot of growth happening here, expansion. And the moon better show up for the moon reading. I know that's right. <laughs> the moon is very tied to Cancer. It is um, the celestial being tied, tied, the celestial body tied to Cancer, uh, and it speaks a lot about intuition. So it's highlighting intuitive processes, right? Yes. Um, let's go into this. From the from the Tantra toolbox tarot cards, you got two cards. You got Rose Quartz and you got Palo Santo, Palo Palo Santo, Palo Santo. So I'm going to see if there's any words that stick out for me. Yes, mystical, right? Attract, restore. Heart chakra, healing energy, unconditional love. Um, these are all things that I feel like are you're possibly embodying or possibly being challenged to embody at this time um, of the full moon cycle. Uh, these are things that you should keep in mind, that peace, that emotional healing aspect to life. Um, maybe be more open emotionally, right? Because by being emo by being more emotionally vulnerable, you can you can relate to people in ways that you don't even expect. And there's that, you know, mysticism. And I don't think you know exactly what will happen once you do keep going. I think that you have everything you need to keep going, right? And your sights are set high, but you don't really know. And I think it's kind of exciting for you, honestly. These are the, um, empower this is the empowerment card deck from Tantra Toolbox. I'm gonna pull from here and see what the cards have to say. Right, And my pulling is just letting the cards do their things. Excellent. So this is very in line with what I just said in the sense that like you don't know what's coming up next, right? But listen to what it says. It says, of all you earn, save 10% of every dollar, prioritize yourself, Take care of your responsibilities. Don't forget to treat yourself. 
Okay, so maybe I didn't say all that, but I had it in mind. And I really thought that the first, um, the first message on this card was going to talk about the, the benefit you get out of uh, what you earn. You know what I mean? And I think, I feel like there's a lot of, like I said, growth energy here, but also a lot of coming into a more fluid cycle with your earnings, with those things you're working on, with those things that you're striving toward, right? And with that cycle, we've got to remember to take care of ourselves, right? And part of that may be treating ourselves and mostly taking care of our responsibilities. Okay? I don't know if I already read from the back of this card. But that is the message for you. I, I did. That is the message for you, Cancer. I'm sorry. For the frenzied feel going on right now, I guarantee it is just today. It is just today. And almost just with your reading. And a little bit with Sagittarius, too. But, yeah, it's all good. It looks so... You, you're on the right path. You're definitely on the right path. There's not much that needs to change. If anything, stay focused. Uh, you never know what could happen, you know? Um, and many a glorious things could happen from the work that you put in. Keep taking care of yourself, Cancer. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, you got this, okay? Thank you, Cancer. Bye.